This ends right here, right now, once and for all. For too long we've been putting up with these horrible creatures, these foul-smelling, ugly, hard-to-kill, pain-in-the-ass creatures. The sea has rejected them, we reject them, they have no place in this world. It's time we cracked the shell for good. Men, women, follow me, storm the beaches, bring the fight to the enemy. These gooey mouthparts have spit their last bubbles. The odds may seem against us, but fate smiles upon us this day. It's the queens, the Mirelurk queens, they're the source. If we can kill them, the other Mirelurks will stop coming. Are you with me? Today, I will be listing my top five Mirelurk queens in Fallout 4. Let the battle begin. Starting off with number five, we have the one at the bottom of the Massachusetts State House. Right when you go inside, you realize something's wrong. It's overgrown. There's vines and weeds all over the place. The dirt is all exposed. There's even some water running through the floors. Ugh. Seems like the perfect spot for a den. A mosquito den. I'm rubbing my neck just thinking about it. But that seems okay until the hatchlings start crowding around your feet. And before you can turn around, you've got Mirelurks rushing at you from the hallways, pushing you ever closer inside. Ah, so that's what's festering down in this dark, moist place. Moist. Well, as you continue, you'll eventually see where all this growth is coming from. There's a large pit that leads down to a pool of radioactive water. You go down, but you quickly realize the only way out is controlled by a terminal somewhere else. So you wrap around a system of rooms, all filled with even more of these Mylurks, until you're able to reach the terminal and unlock the door. We've already been too long, we really should be leaving, but... As soon as you hop back down to the pool, you feel the ground shake, like its stomach is churning, trying to repel whatever horrible thing is inside of it. And bursting out of the water is a Mirelurk queen, stretching out her claws. You fell right on top of her bed. She has kids in that water, you know. You swam right through it. Oh, well, now it's personal. You're going to have to use the pillars for protection. Hide behind them when she spits her acid at you. Now, you can run into the doors that you just opened, but the whole room is filled with toxic barrels. You won't be able to breathe. And if you just leave and go through them, this problem is never going to be solved. So, you go back into the room, running between the pillars, fitting in any shots that you can, chucking grenades behind you for all the little children that are trying to crawl up your legs. You have to be very agile, making sure she can't hit you, but you can hit her. But eventually... The last of your bullets penetrate that brain of hers, all swollen and sticky, and down she goes, another shake to the ground. This incessant breeding of this place may hopefully come to an end now, and next should be burning all of the weeds. Number four, we have the one to the southeast of Revere Beach Station. There's a small beach that leads out to the water. It's got a dock on the end of it. Good spot for a view. It's nice. Almost makes you forget where you are. You head over to the edge of the water, maybe find one of those bottled messages you've seen before. But something is rumbling. Bubbles are floating to the surface. And as you dip your head in to see where it's coming from, you see a Mirelurk queen right there on the edge. And she wasn't sleeping, she's ready to attack. Her large shell surfaces from the water like a submarine already firing at you. But there's hardly any cover, just a pair of broken walls that you have to run behind, acid still coming off your shoulders. Clearly this isn't a good spot. You can stay and try shooting her from behind the walls, but for even better cover, try heading back to town. The little ice cream shop right there in the harbor. It's here you'll be able to bottleneck all the hatchlings that are coming at you. And the acid attacks, they might stop short on the balcony, or the shop windows. No, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than that open beach. You will be able to get in a good stream of shots while she's busy trying to hock up more acid from her lungs. Although... What's a day at the beach if you don't come prepared, right? And we came for a good view, did we not? If you have a fat man, you have every right to make it back to where you came. This nice open beach is suddenly in our advantage. And when you get to the very end of the dock and you turn around and you see that great beast coming toward you, all you can think is, we're gonna need a bigger note. A loud note. So loud it sends ripples across the water. So you let loose your mini-nuke and into the queen it goes. It's supposed to go. I am often reminded these creatures have extraordinary dodging abilities, but if it takes a few tries, fine. The queen tries hiding in the water for cover, but nothing's gonna save her now. Your nuke breaks the surface like a cannonball, waves spilling upward. Then after that, no more rumbling. The sea is quiet. And if you head in, you see the queen rocking gently on the ocean floor. <laughs> a good view has been saved for us yet. Number three, we have the boss of Nuka World's World of Refreshment. You come here and you have to clear out all of the Mirelurks, both inside and outside of the bottling plant. But when you go outside and you kill enough of their kin, it's really going to piss off the queen. From out of the pond, this thing comes, a scream that can be heard all the way to Safari Adventure. And don't think you can get cozy up on the buildings surrounding her. She can shoot her ass at an incredible distance. If she can see you, chances are she can hit you. So don't get sprayed. 
Now, because of how open this area is, it probably is the best course of action to stay up on the roofs and then peek over the edge and fire a few shots when you get the chance. Well, granted, of course, you have the ammo for that. Just, again, be careful of the spray. You may have to put her on hold, dealing with the smaller Mylurks first. They'll likely be chasing you up the stairways, kings running up and trying to blow your ears off. But if you manage to take all of them out first, it's going to be a lot easier dealing with the queen alone. And of course, if you still have some nukes left over from the last fight, it really would be a waste not to use them. Have a little fun! Now, if you don't have the resources to stay up there for that long though, it is possible you're going to have to attack ground level. This is going to be the best way to surpass that shell and hit her right in the stomach and right in the face. Deal the most damage as you can. And you're certainly going to get a good glimpse of the nuka quantum radiation that's pumping through her body, stretching out all of her veins. She's like a bottle herself, shaken up and drizzling around the place. But if you put a few holes in it, eventually the contents are going to spill out. And when you're done, her blood runs blue, leaking back into the pond from where she came. Nuka World is not going to miss its Nuka Lurk Queen. Number two, we have the boss of the castle during the quest Taking Independence. The Minutemen want to take back their old headquarters. The problem is, it's been turned into a breeding ground for our favorite little bugs. We can't lie down and accept that, right? CHARGE THE FORT! Or, uh, or walk, we should preserve our energy. But right when you get there, the guns go up and you start firing. There's nothing to wait around for, the ground level is swarming with these bugs. You and your fighters rush in, unloading everything you've got. You're trying to protect your friend, shooting at the Mirelurks that are just behind them, snapping at them, all while stomping your feet to try and crush the hatchlings that are under you. It's a tight battle, and very easy to get swarmed. But luckily, you don't have to do this alone. You clear the courtyard as best you can, and then you start dealing with all the eggs that litter the place. You know, set them on fire, stomp them, whatever you have to do to make sure they never come back. The thing is, you'll never enrage a mother more than when you're killing her children. A large scream comes from the southwest. The Minutemen stop to look around. D did you hear that too? And then up from the coast, the queen enters the fortress, pissed off and ready to rampage. Swinging, knocking people off their feet, you're being showered in venom as it slides down your helmet, blocking your vision. You're trying to get away, but another claw gets you, flinging you forward. You have to spread out or you're all going to be dead in seconds. Now, you can take cover in the castle if you have to, although going up above is going to give you a lot more of an advantage. While the fighters below are distracting it, roasting it with their flamethrowers, you can run along the upper walkways, firing down on it. This is your fortress, make sure she knows that. And when she's getting attacked from all angles, so she's got flames burning up through her abdomen, the bullets coming down on her, cracking down her shell, She'll realize there's no retreating. This is a game of who dies first. And if you can provide good overwatch, then you'll be able to take her down before any of your friends have to die. The beast it spazzes as it falls to the ground, and soon its limbs stop twitching for good. Yeah, there may be more hatchlings, even some Mirelurks still hiding. But once you set flames to all the eggs, there's no way they're making it back inside here. On this day, Fort Independence has been returned to the humans. And number one, we have the monster at the end of the quest, Rite of Passage. In a place like Far Harbor, the Marlurks are at their strongest, constantly wrapped in a heavy mist that, to us, is choking, but to them gives more oxygen, more energy. And the constant radiation even makes them stronger, more durable. Make no mistake, this is their playing field, and they know it. But the people of Far Harbor aren't all that welcoming, and it's not easy to earn their respect. If you truly want it, you should try doing the Captain's Dance. This is an old trial of theirs, where someone goes out into the island and tries to kill the biggest and baddest of monsters there is. Alright, why not? Although it should be noted, I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing this for me. For revenge. So you go way out to the northwest, and you drop meat in the water. First wave of Mylurks come, you put them down. More meat. Second wave of Mylurks come. Now they've added kings. You put them down. Is this all you have for me? But finally, your prize arrives. The biggest and baddest of the queens, emerging from out of the blackness. This is what we've been waiting for. Your lasers start tearing into it, rapid fire one after the other. She moves through it like nothing. Dottie, the only harborman to come here and witness this challenge, is running around like a madman trying to escape, find whatever cover he can. It's true, if you stay out in the water, you're done for. You're bound to fall in waist deep, and then you can't move. You'll be swallowed whole. You have to run back to the trees with little pockets that you can find. Here you can shoot in between them, whatever line of sight you can manage. But even still, this thing is too strong. Your lasers aren't doing anything. Exhaustion is going to set in before she's even halfway dead. 
Well, you can't expect to take on a challenge like this and not come prepared. Take out the missile launcher you've been saving and blow her up. Blow off the fingers, blow off the antennae, blow open the carapace, blow up every piece of this forsaken creature. Each missile fired is a time that you were walking along and you got ambushed by these stupid things. They popped right up out of the ground. Enjoy this feeling, enjoy this revenge. Because after this, it better be done once and for all. And when she's finally down and you're sure there isn't an ounce of life that's still hiding somewhere under that shell, and you make it all the way back to Far Harbor, you're still smelling like guts and crab meat, you tell those people you could give a damn about the captain's dance. That fight, that was personal. And there you have it, my top five Mirelurk queens in Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, is there another one you would add to this list? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for joining me in this fight. I know this was a long time coming, but finally the beaches of New England have been reclaimed. May the generations after us all swim in peace. <laughs>